I know I'm gonna keep you 100. So I am here as the uh, setup is happening. People are coming in for the MMG Foundation's dinner and dance gala to raise money for the Marcus Garvey Center here in Ghana. It looks like it's going to be a beautiful event. Um, I just love the decor so far. Um, and it looks like there's going to be a band performing. There's going to be lots of people here from the diaspora to enjoy wonderful dinner, networking, connecting, getting to know people while celebrating the life of Marcus Garvey, one of the leaders of the Pan-African movement. So, our, so the camera shy owner right now is going to talk about the product. Sales and marketing. <laughs> so um, this is double distilled palm wine. Double right? distilled palm now, wine. What makes this different is it goes through a process that qualifies it to be, to be handcrafted. As say Silver Potion would say, um, their product is 100% agave, etc. We could say also that this is 100% palm wine and it goes to the traditional process yes it's important that we highlight that it goes yes. to the traditional process and for people who don't know what the traditional process is what is the traditional process well, so the palm tree is fell and then the sap is collected over a period of time yeah and then we allow this sap to ferment naturally yes so there's no catalyst there's no yeast there's no sugar there's no preservative it takes about two weeks for this to ferment naturally. Mm -hmm. So you know if this was commercial, we can't wait two weeks, we gotta speed it up. Yeah. So it waits two weeks and then it goes to a double distillation process. So it goes one time and then again. So the product is smooth and delicious. So the aftertaste that comes is, you, you still get the, the palm wine aftertaste with every shot, it is 52%. 52 might scare you, but it will go down easier than 40% or whatever you're drinking. <laughs> it says 52, you'll be like, oh, it's on the high side. But I bet you, if you, if you take a shot of this, you're like, oh my God, this is really good. Yeah. So I urge you all to get This is the spirit of Ghana right there. The spirit, spirit of, Ghana, of Ghana, Ghana lives in here. Because this is Akra Teshi. This is what our ancestors used to drink. This was here before tequila, before vodka, before all of them. This is the original. This is what you should be on. A few. Okay, so which one? What is in? So one corner is lemon and I see lemons there. What is that? What is that green stuff? Oh, so these are just going to be regular um, mixed drinks. They're going to be made with yeah, made with the palm wine. But I need to know which. This looks fruity. Uh, let me let me try let me try the sex with apio. Let's try that. The whole process is get this done. The whole process is important. I put some red stuff in there. I don't know what it was. It's not everything. Oh, you can just put a little drip. I want to shake everything, you know.
so I hope this is good. Yes, it's with Apio. It's with this. Yes. So it's made me a cocktail using the apio and uh, let me just pour this out so that it all goes in there. Woo! You all saw me drinking it straight and how I reacted so let's see how this one is. This is good. This is really good. Now this apio, apio is made in Ghana. And I gotta put my glasses on so I can read it. The information here, this is a brand new product. So it's 100% Ghanaian distilled palm wine. Apio or Akpatishi, as it's commonly referred to in Ghana, is now being redefined to meet international standards. Oftentimes this drink doesn't meet international standards because of the way it's processed. So this company has found a way to distill it in a way that it can be sold on the international market and that's so exciting because people need to taste palm wine outside of Ghana. It is delicious. This one is strong, I'll tell you. <laughs> it's like drinking vodka. But um, it's one of the things that Ghanaians are very proud of and proud to know that this is from this country. So this is really exciting. I've stumbled upon this product at this gala today. I'm shouting because the music is on and they're doing a sound check and I want to make sure that you hear me in this video. But this is uh, the owner of the company. is camera shy, so he didn't come on camera. So I'm going to ask him right now because he's shooting this. Is this available online? Yes? I will put the website in the video and in the description of the video so that if you want to order this and have it sent to you anywhere in the world, you can. If you have a store, a liquor store, and you want to stock Ghanaian product, get this. This is so delicious. Like this drink, fabulous. Fabulous. Made in Ghana. This is like, I just walked in here and I just had to try it and I'm glad that I did. Thank you so much for watching. As I said, I'll put the description and the website in the video. Thanks for watching and I'll continue sipping on my drink.
Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Please be seated. And in particular, Jamaica, where he paid tribute to Marcus Garvey at his gravesite, is a journey that was inevitable. It's a journey that our ancestral spirits have been waiting for. And the year of return, 2019 Ghana has made it possible. They were invited to return and have gracefully accepted the invitation. Our ancestors are here. They have returned. Let us hope that the message resonates throughout the continent of Africa. Our people of the diaspora. Seeking the warmth of our mother's embrace. Our guiding forces does not lie. Africa is ready to embrace this estranged family. Mother Africa, hug your children of your historically unique group. The children of the historically unique group hug your mother. Let the love flow because love without hug has no feelings, no passion, and no relevance. Let us remember Garvey as both a unifier and organizer of the people, our people. These qualities are inextricably linked. Garvey taught us that we desire, we desire harmony and unity today more than, any, more than ever because, our, our, through, because only through bringing together the people into a mighty bond that we can successfully pilot our way through the avenues of opposition and the oceans of difficulties that confront us. Garvey was the organizer and builder of the largest movement of Africans in history, the Universal Negro Improvement Association, UNIA, and the millions more who supported it. As a builder of a worldwide movement, he taught us the importance of unity and power and the earnest and ongoing organizations it requires. Men who are earnest are not afraid of consequences. We have a nice time today. But on this occasion of Martin's day, I suppose it's only fair to say that yes, we know what Martin's army stood for in this pan Africanism movement. And we are all conscious of what we need to be aware of and to do to honor his name. So we are not just gathered here, but we are gathered here to remember all the good work all the pan Africans and the leadership that gave us. And to remember that, especially in this year of uh, 2020, the year of return, the year when it's not only about us returning to the motherland, but us returning to our core values, the things that the black man stood for, the things that the black community has always been agitating for, our core values, values that we have for us. Mankind as a whole. I suppose it's only fair to say that uh, in the year of return, we Ghana is very much welcome. Everyone of you who would have come here for the first time, even if you are here all these years, to say how very glad we are to have your company, to have you among us. And that's everything, and I want to say everything is being done to make sure that you make yourself as comfortable as possible. And uh, I suppose it's only fair to say that beginning next week, beginning next week, Wednesday for fact, I want to make this an official announcement that we begin calling one after another those who have submitted their names for citizenship. <laughs> Those various groups that have submitted their names to us, we will call you to come to the and we will want to see your know, dialogue with you and part of the process of getting this thing done well, so that as early as possible this whole situation may come to you. I just want to assure you that all this time that we will be about us, we 
dream of working behind the scenes as much as possible in a small amount of time. So please, please uh, let us uh, believe and hope that this is going to come to very soon. I think uh, some things must have been said in my absence because I've joined you late. I wouldn't want to say too much. And, um, I just um, say I'm glad I'm here with you. Thank you.